Hey guys, Ryan here. Um, so I've been sitting here at my desk for probably 30 minutes now trying to make this video. I've made like three or four of them now and every single time I feel weird making it and I don't really know how to start the video out and I don't really know uh, how to just go throughout it. So I'm sorry if it's rough. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I've been... I'm pushing myself to make this video because I want to get back into YouTube. Um, so, basically, I haven't made a video for like a year and a half, a year and eight months. You guys know that. Um, I apologize. I've, I've had the flu a couple weeks ago, so I'm still really scratchy and I cough a lot. So, uh, I'm sorry in advance. Uh, but you guys know I haven't made a video in like a, a month or a year and a month or a year and eight months. I'm sorry. So, it's been a while. Uh, and the reason it's been a while is because my life just got really hectic and I had to prioritize. So first of all, I just want to say sorry for not making YouTube videos and not telling you guys what my plan was because that's really frustrating to me whenever uh, I see people that make YouTube videos and they just stop making them and then a year later they say, hey, I did this and this is why. It frustrates me when they don't tell people in advance and so I know it frustrates you. Um, I should have done that and I just... I just didn't, um, I handled that poorly and I'm sorry. Um, but at the same time, I'm very thankful for you guys. I have still been gaining subscribers. I have 20,000 or so subscribers now, which I think when I stopped making videos back in April of 2018, I had like 16,000, I think 15,000 maybe. And now I have 20,000. Like, I don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, so a lot of people want to see me make videos still, I hope. And, uh, it seems like it. Um, I did a poll about three months ago on the YouTube community post thing. And uh, the people that responded, there was like 400 something responses and like 98% of them said they did want me to start making videos again. Uh, I really want to start making videos again, uh, but life is just hectic. And I'm not extremely good at managing my time. So I have difficulty with that. So again, Sorry for the inactivity, um, but thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it and giving me the, the continued growth that I still experience here. Um, 20,000 subscribers is a lot of subscribers to me. And I know a lot of YouTubers say this, and I, I don't really consider myself a YouTuber. I think it's a kind of a weird title. Uh, but as someone who used to make YouTube videos regularly for people, to, like to help people with this hobby, Airsoft, um, it's pretty awesome that I have 20,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd get that far. I know a lot of people say that, but I really never thought I'd get that far. And it's totally all you guys who did that for me. Uh, I mean, you guys know, these videos are not produced very well. Um, it's always with a grainy looking camera, with poor video editing and, and dumb background music, but you guys still subscribe, so that's super cool. Um, so it's definitely all you guys. Um, I really never, the production quality was never my strong suit, so. Uh, I felt like the uh, information in the video was the best part. Other than that, I mean, like, the videos just look like trash all the time. Um, but thank you guys again for sticking around and subscribing still. It's it's really awesome. So, <clears throat> I want to tell you guys where I've been, uh, what I've been doing in my life, and why I haven't made a video for so long. Uh, basically, when I stopped making videos is when I was midway through nursing school, and it was getting a little more difficult and I had to put more time into it. And then in addition to putting more time in the nursing school, I had to, you know, work 48 to 60 hours a week on, on the ambulance. I, uh, I had three jobs through my last year and a half of college. And one was I was a tutor for nursing school. And the other two, I was uh, EMT for a 911 service. And then I was an EMT for a private ambulance service. So I worked two ambulance jobs at the same time, equaling to about 48 to 60 hours a week while I was going to college. Um, and then that summer, it didn't get any easier because I still had those two jobs. And then I had uh, another um, opportunity that opened up at a hospital where they hired me as a nursing student, a uh, nursing intern. And so I worked in an ER for six months and that was 36 hours a week, plus my you know, minimum hours on the ambulance to stay part-time. So I was very, very busy over summer and that's just stressful. Um, it was just very stressful. And so when I got done with work, then my first thought wasn't, let's make YouTube videos. It was, I want to go to sleep and I want to relax. And I just stopped making YouTube videos. And what 
what kills me to this day still is that I didn't make a video explaining where I'm going to be for a while. All right, because I it frustrated me that I just kind of dropped off the edge and never made a video again for like a year and a half. And then like that just frustrated me a lot. And I should have made a video explaining where I was going to be because it's totally reasonable to prioritize what's going on in your life. But what's not fair to you guys is that I just kind of didn't say where I was at all. And I know that's frustrating. So I'm sorry for that as well. But now um, I graduated in December 2018. And so I got a full time job like immediately. And so ever since January, I've been working full time as a nurse in an ICU at the same hospital that I did my internship. And uh, it's just, I thought as soon as I graduated, I can start making YouTube videos again. I can start getting back into this and, and, and enjoying the YouTube thing again and having more money to, to work with it too because I would have a full-time job. It was very, very wrong. Uh, basically, I got extremely stressed out from work. Um, having a full-time job is, as a nurse is just difficult for your first six, eight months. Um, I did a uh, ICU residency, which basically the hospital I work at has three ICUs, a, a cardiac ICU, a neuro ICU, and then a medical ICU. Um, I oriented in, in all of those units, and that meant I had a different attending nurse every time. And so sometimes it was really stressful working with a new nurse for a week and then the next week it was a different one and then the next week it was a different one and then the next week it was the same one I had the first week and so uh, it got very stressful working with different people so often and being so brand new to nursing in a uh, pretty high acuity hospital that does, like pretty high acuity ICU and so I got very sick patients um, and the physicians and the nurse practitioners I worked with expected a lot out of their nurses. And so being a new nurse, you just don't know everything, obviously. Uh, being a year into it, I don't know everything. And I'm still very new to it. But for the first eight months, I mean, every single day I got done with work, I would go home and I would read. Just read my physiology book or my critical care book. Or I would read uh, cardiac post-operative care books. I, or or uh, post-operative, not post-operative, but post-stroke care books. I would read just so much information because every time I, I hated being at work and then realizing I didn't know something, realizing that it was like, oh crap, I, I, I should have known that in this conversation that I would have, would have with a nurse or, or a doctor or a nurse practitioner. And I would go home and I would learn it. And that was kind of something that was maybe partially an unhealthy habit. Fast forward to now, um, I work full time in an ICU still, and uh, I've gotten a lot better at it. I've gotten a lot more confident in my abilities. Um, it's amazing what an extra six months will do. It's amazing what a total amount of a year will do to somebody for their experience in healthcare. And so I've gotten a lot better at it. I don't come home from work super stressed out. I come home from work, I go to bed, and I feel great in the morning or the, in the evening because I work night shift. <clears throat> So it's like, I don't dread work anymore. I don't get super stressed out by work anymore. Sure, I have stressful days, but it's not like every single day. Um, I really enjoy what I do, and I don't want to do anything else. So that's just been a big thing ever since I got out of nursing school. It's just been stressful, and now it's gotten a lot better. So that's that. Uh, second of all, I've been looking at going back to school. I need to get either my, my four-year degree or I need to get my master's. I'm looking at my master's, which is just going to be a lot more work. Uh, but it's something I might want to do for later on. So uh, I might want to go to nurse practitioner school in five years. And then it's easier to get into that with masters. So uh, just a lot been going on in my life. And I've had difficulty making room for YouTube. But I've wanted to. And so that's why I'm here today. That's what I'm going to start doing. So the plan is that I want to do at least a video a week. I know that sounds extremely unrealistic to you guys. But I'm an optimistic person. Uh, I want to make a video a week. Uh, minimum, it'll be like a live stream. That's what I want to do every week is a live stream. At best, I'll make a live stream and like a regular content video where it's like me breaking down a gun or me showing you guys how to do this to a gun. You know, the usual stuff I used to do. Um, so that's something that I'm going to start to try to do. So since we're already heck halfway through this week or a little over halfway through, I'm just going to try to do a live stream tomorrow, see how that goes. Um, hopefully it goes smoothly. So we're going to try to do a live stream tomorrow. So put that on your calendar. Um, 
so yeah, uh, again, I'm extremely thankful. Uh, I really don't, I don't know, I never, I never thought that I would have this 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. I think that's, it's a crazy thing for me to think of. Um, again, I know everybody says that who does YouTube. They're all shocked that they have 100,000 subscribers and 15,000 subscribers. But I mean, for real, it's a, it's a really interesting feeling to, to realize that there's 20,000 people that decided to subscribe to you and follow the content that you produce. And the fact that I haven't made any content for the past year and a half and people are still subscribing is pretty unbelievable to me. So that just shows me how interested you guys are in the content that I can produce. So I'm going to take that as a challenge to produce better content and to produce more regular content because I want to get back into it. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, Again, I'm just super thankful for you guys and what all you've done for me, uh, subscribing to this channel and, and pushing me to uh, make more videos. I mean, every single day I get comments on my old YouTube videos, people asking where I've been, when I'm gonna make another video, saying that they miss my content. Uh, that's just incredible. I get emails the same, I get Instagram messages, I get Facebook messages, because a lot of people have tracked me down on Facebook. Um, but uh, no, I find it just super cool that you guys are still interested in what I have to produce. Um, and honestly, one of my biggest fears about making videos again is that people will not want to watch them or will say they don't care about my content anymore. But uh, I don't think that'll happen. I think that you guys are still interested, and I hope you are. So, because I want to get back into it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to uh, start trying to plan videos again and try to do that live stream tomorrow. So you guys keep an eye out. I will try to make like a community post saying when the live stream will be or schedule a live stream. I still have I still have to learn some things with YouTube. I've, I've missed out on a lot of stuff that's happened recently. So I got to get back into the groove of it. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for everything you've done for me. Again, I'm super sorry, but uh, I hope you guys can accept my apology. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.